Bahrain. Bahrain is a sovereign state in the Persian Gulf. The island nation comprises a small archipelago centered around Bahrain Island, situated between the Qatar Peninsula and the northeastern coast of Saudi Arabia, to which it is connected by the 25-kilometer King Fahd Causeway. According to the most recent 2010 census, Bahrain's population is over 1.2 million, of which around half are non-nationals. At 780 square kilometers, 300 square miles in size, it is the third smallest nation in Asia after the Maldives and Singapore. The capital and largest city are Manama. Bahrain is the site of the ancient Dilmun civilization. It has been famed since antiquity for its pearl fisheries, which were considered the best in the world into the 19th century. Bahrain was one of the earliest areas to convert to Islam, in 628 AD. Following a period of Arab rule, Bahrain was ruled by the Portuguese Empire from 1521 until 1602, following the conquest by Shah Abbas I of the Safavid dynasty under the Persian Empire. In 1783, the Bani Utbah clan captured Bahrain from Nasser al madkar and it has since been ruled by the Al Khalifa royal family, with Ahmed al Fateh as Bahrain's first Hakim. In the late 1800s, following successive treaties with the British, Bahrain became a protectorate of the United Kingdom. In 1971, it declared independence. Formerly an emirate, it was declared an Islamic constitutional monarchy in 2002. In 2011, the country experienced protests inspired by the regional Arab Spring. Bahrain's ruling Al Khalifa royal family has been accused and criticized for human rights abuses, including imprisonment, torture and execution of dissidents, political opposition figures and its majority Shia Muslim population. Bahrain developed the first post-oil economy in the Persian Gulf, the result of decades of investing in the banking and tourism sectors, many of the world's largest financial institutions have a presence in the country's capital. It subsequently has a high human development index and is recognized by the World Bank as a high-income economy. Bahrain is a member of the United Nations, Non-Aligned Movement, Arab League, Organization of Islamic Cooperation and the Gulf Cooperation Council. Etymology of Bahrain Bahrain is the dual form of Arabic bar sea, so Al-Bahrain originally means the two seas. However, the name has been lexicalized as a feminine proper noun and does not follow the grammatical rules for duals, thus its form is always Bahrain and never Bahrain, the expected nominative form. Endings are added to the word with no changes, as in the name of the national anthem Bahrainina our Bahrain, or the demonym Bahraini. The medieval grammarian Al-Jawahari commented on this saying that the more formally correct term Bari lit. Belonging to the sea would have been misunderstood and so was unused. It remains disputed which two seas the name Bahrain originally refers to. The term appears five times in the Quran, but does not refer to the modern island, originally known to the Arabs as a wall, but, rather, to all of Eastern Arabia, most notably Al-Khatif and Al-Hassa. Today, Bahrain's two seas are generally taken to be the bay east and west of the island, the seas north and south of the island, or the salt and freshwater present above and below the ground. In addition to wells, there are areas of the sea north of Bahrain where fresh water bubbles up in the middle of the saltwater as noted by visitors since antiquity. An alternate theory with regard to Bahrain's toponymy is offered by the al Asa region, which suggests that the two seas were the Great Green Ocean, the Persian Gulf, and a peaceful lake on the Arabian mainland. Until the late Middle Ages, Bahrain referred to the region of Eastern Arabia that included southern Iraq, Kuwait, al Hassa, Katif, and Bahrain. The region stretched from Basra in Iraq to the Strait of Hormuz in Oman. This was Iqlim al Bahrain's Bahrain province. The exact date at which the term Bahrain began to refer solely to the Awal archipelago is unknown. The entire coastal strip of Eastern Arabia was known as Bahrain for a millennium. The island and kingdom were also commonly spelt Bahrain into the 1950s. History of Bahrain Bahrain was home to Dilmun, an important Bronze Age trade center linking Mesopotamia and the Indus Valley. Bahrain was later ruled by the Assyrians and Babylonians. From the 6th to 3rd century BC, Bahrain was part of the Achaemenid Empire. By about 250 BC, Parthia brought the Persian Gulf under its control and extended its influence as far as Oman. 
The Parthians established garrisons along the southern coast of the Persian Gulf to control trade routes. During the Classical era, Bahrain was referred to by the ancient Greeks as Tylos, the center of pearl trading, when the Greek admiral Nearchus serving under Alexander the Great landed on Bahrain. Nearchus is believed to have been the first of Alexander's commanders to visit the island, and he found a verdant land that was part of a wide trading network. He recorded that on the island of Tylos, situated in the Persian Gulf, are large plantations of cotton trees, from which are manufactured clothes called sindons, of strongly differing degrees of value, some being costly, others less expensive. The use of these is not confined to India, but extends to Arabia. The Greek historian Theophrastus states that much of Bahrain was covered by these cotton trees and that Bahrain was famous for exporting walking canes engraved with emblems that were customarily carried in Babylon. Alexander had planned to settle Greek colonists on Bahrain, and although it is not clear that this happened on the scale he envisaged, Bahrain became very much part of the Hellenized world, the language of the upper classes was Greek, although Aramaic was in everyday use, while Zeus was worshipped in the form of the Arabian sun god Shams. Bahrain even became the site of Greek athletic contests. The Greek historian Strabo believed the Phoenicians originated from Bahrain. Herodotus also believed that the homeland of the Phoenicians was Bahrain. This theory was accepted by the 19th-century German classicist Arnold Heeren who said that, in the Greek geographers, for instance, we read of two islands, named Tyrus or Tylos, and Aratus, which boasted that they were the mother country of the Phoenicians, and exhibited relics of Phoenician temples. The people of Tyre, in particular, have long maintained Persian Gulf origins, and the similarity in the words, Tylos, and Tyre, has been commented upon. However, there is little evidence of any human settlement at all on Bahrain during the time when such migration had supposedly taken place. The name Tylos is thought to be a Hellenization of the Semitic Tilman, from Dilmun. The term Tylos was commonly used for the islands until Ptolemy Geographia when the inhabitants are referred to as Thilawanoi. Some place names in Bahrain go back to the Tylos era, for instance, the name of Arad, a residential suburb of Maharak, is believed to originate from Arados, the ancient Greek name for Maharak. In the 3rd century, Ardashir I, the first ruler of the Sassanid dynasty, marched on Oman and Bahrain, where he defeated Sanatruk the ruler of Bahrain. At this time, Bahrain was known as Mishmahig, which in Middle Persian, Pahlavi means, you fish. Bahrain was also the site of worship of an ox deity called Awal. Worshippers built a large statue to Awal in Maharak, although it has now been lost. For many centuries after Tylos, Bahrain was known as Awal. By the 5th century, Bahrain became a center for Nestorian Christianity, with the village Samahij as the seat of bishops. In 410, according to the Oriental Syriac Church Synodal Records, a bishop named Batai was excommunicated from the church in Bahrain. As a sect, the Nestorians were often persecuted as heretics by the Byzantine Empire, but Bahrain was outside the empire's control, offering some safety. The names of several Maharak villages today reflect Bahrain's Christian legacy, with Aldair meaning, the monastery. Bahrain's pre-Islamic population consisted of Christian Arabs, mostly Abd al qis Persians, Zoroastrians, Jews, and Aramaic-speaking agriculturalists. According to Robert Bertram Surgent, the Baharna may be the Arabized descendants of converts from the original population of Christians, Aramaeans, Jews and Persians inhabiting the island and cultivated coastal provinces of eastern Arabia at the time of the Muslim conquest. The sedentary people of pre-Islamic Bahrain were Aramaic speakers and to some degree Persian speakers, while Syriac functioned as a liturgical language. Independence of Bahrain on 15 August 1971, though the Shah of Iran was claiming historical sovereignty over Bahrain, he accepted a referendum held by the United Nations and eventually Bahrain declared independence and signed a new treaty of friendship with the United Kingdom. Bahrain joined the United Nations and the Arab League later in the year. The oil boom of the 1970s benefited Bahrain greatly, although the subsequent downturn hurt the economy. The country had already begun diversification of its economy and benefited further from the Lebanese civil war in the 1970s and 1980s when Bahrain replaced Beirut as the Middle East's financial hub after Lebanon's large banking sector was driven out of the country by the war. 
Following the 1979 Islamic Revolution in Iran in 1981, the Bahraini Shia population orchestrated a failed coup attempt under the auspices of a front organization, the Islamic Front for the Liberation of Bahrain. The coup would have installed a Shia cleric exiled in Iran, Hujatu el Islam Hadi al Mudarisi, as supreme leader heading a theocratic government. In December 1994, a group of youths threw stones at female runners for running bare-legged during an international marathon. The resulting clash with police soon grew into civil unrest. A popular uprising occurred between 1994 and 2000 in which leftists, liberals and Islamists joined forces. The event resulted in approximately 40 deaths and ended after Hamid bin Isa al-Khalifa became the Emir of Bahrain in 1999. He instituted elections for parliament, gave women the right to vote, and released all political prisoners. A referendum on 14 to 15 February 2001 massively supported the National Action Charter. As part of the adoption of the National Action Charter on 14 February 2002, Bahrain changed its formal name from the state Dala, of Bahrain to the Kingdom of Bahrain. The country participated in military action against the Taliban in October 2001 by deploying a frigate in the Arabian Sea for rescue and humanitarian operations. As a result, in November of that year, U.S. President George W. Bush's administration designated Bahrain as a major non-NATO ally. Bahrain opposed the invasion of Iraq and had offered Saddam Hussein asylum in the days prior to the invasion. Relations improved with neighboring Qatar after the border dispute over the Hawar Islands was resolved by the International Court of Justice in The Hague in 2001. Following the political liberalization of the country, Bahrain negotiated a free trade agreement with the United States in 2004. Geography of Bahrain Bahrain is a generally flat and arid archipelago in the Persian Gulf. It consists of a low desert plain rising gently to a low central escarpment with the highest point the 134 meters 440 feet mountain of smoke Jabal ad Duhan. Bahrain had a total area of 665 square kilometers 257 square miles but due to land reclamation the area increased to 780 square kilometers 300 square miles which is slightly larger than Anglesey. Often described as an archipelago of 33 islands, extensive land reclamation projects have changed this, by August 2008 the number of islands and island groups had increased to 84. Bahrain does not share a land boundary with another country but does have a 161 kilometers 100 miles coastline. The country also claims a further 22 kilometers 12 miles of territorial sea and a 44 kilometers 24 miles contiguous zone. Bahrain's largest islands are Bahrain Island, the Hawar Islands, Maharak Island, Umm Nasan, and Sitra. Bahrain has mild winters and very hot, humid summers. The country's natural resources include large quantities of oil and natural gas as well as fish in the offshore waters. Arable land constitutes only 2.82% of the total area. About 92% of Bahrain is desert with periodic droughts and dust storms, the main natural hazards for Bahrainis. Environmental issues facing Bahrain include desertification resulting from the degradation of limited arable land, coastal degradation, damage to coastlines, coral reefs, and sea vegetation, resulting from oil spills and other discharges from large tankers, oil refineries, distribution stations, and illegal land reclamation at places such as Tubli Bay. The agricultural and domestic sectors over utilization of the Damam Aquifer, the principal aquifer in Bahrain, has led to its salinization by adjacent brackish and saline water bodies. A hydrochemical study identified the locations of the sources of aquifer salinization and delineated their areas of influence. The investigation indicates that the aquifer water quality is significantly modified as groundwater flows from the northwestern parts of Bahrain, where the aquifer receives its water by lateral underflow from eastern Saudi Arabia, to the southern and southeastern parts. Four types of salinization of the aquifer are identified, brackish water upflow from the underlying brackish water zones in north-central, western, and eastern regions, seawater intrusion in the eastern region, the intrusion of Sabka water in the southwestern region, and irrigation return flow in a local area in the western region. 
four alternatives for the management of groundwater quality that are available to the water authorities in Bahrain are discussed and their priority areas are proposed, based on the type and extent of each salinization source, in addition to groundwater use in that area. Climate in Bahrain Often described as an archipelago of 33 islands, extensive land reclamation projects have changed this. By August 2008 the number of islands and island groups had increased to 84. Bahrain does not share a land boundary with another country but does have a 161 kilometers 100 miles coastline. The country also claims a further 22 kilometers 12 miles of territorial sea and a 44 kilometers 24 miles contiguous zone. Bahrain's largest islands are Bahrain Island, the Hawar Islands, Maharak Island, Umm and Hassan, and Sitra. Bahrain has mild winters and very hot, humid summers. The country's natural resources include large quantities of oil and natural gas as well as fish in the offshore waters. Arable land constitutes only 2.82% of the total area. About 92% of Bahrain is desert with periodic droughts and dust storms, the main natural hazards for Bahrainis. Environmental issues facing Bahrain include desertification resulting from the degradation of limited arable land, coastal degradation, damage to coastlines, coral reefs, and sea vegetation, resulting from oil spills and other discharges from large tankers, oil refineries, distribution stations, and illegal land reclamation at places such as Tubli Bay. The agricultural and domestic sectors over utilization of the Damam Aquifer, the principal aquifer in Bahrain, has led to its salinization by adjacent brackish and saline water bodies. A hydrochemical study identified the locations of the sources of aquifer salinization and delineated their areas of influence. The investigation indicates that the aquifer water quality is significantly modified as groundwater flows from the northwestern parts of Bahrain, where the aquifer receives its water by lateral underflow from eastern Saudi Arabia, to the southern and southeastern parts. Four types of salinization of the aquifer are identified, brackish water upflow from the underlying brackish water zones in north-central, western, and eastern regions, seawater intrusion in the eastern region, the intrusion of Sabka water in the southwestern region, and irrigation return flow in a local area in the western region. Four alternatives for the management of groundwater quality that are available to the water authorities in Bahrain are discussed and their priority areas are proposed, based on the type and extent of each salinization source, in addition to groundwater use in that area. Biodiversity of Bahrain More than 330 species of birds were recorded in the Bahrain archipelago, 26 species of which breed in the country. Millions of migratory birds pass through the Persian Gulf region in the winter and autumn months. One globally endangered species, Chlamydides undulata, is a regular migrant in the autumn. The many islands and shallow seas of Bahrain are globally important for the breeding of the Socotra cormorant, up to 100,000 pairs of these birds were recorded over the Hawar Islands. Bahrain's national bird is the bulbul while its national animal is the Arabian oryx. Only 18 species of mammals are found in Bahrain, animals such as gazelles, desert rabbits and hedgehogs are common in the wild but the Arabian oryx was hunted to extinction on the island. 25 species of amphibians and reptiles were recorded as well as 21 species of butterflies and 307 species of flora. The marine biotopes are diverse and include extensive seagrass beds and mudflats, patchy coral reefs as well as offshore islands. Seagrass beds are important foraging grounds for some threatened species such as dugongs and the green turtle. In 2003, Bahrain banned the capture of sea cows, marine turtles and dolphins within its territorial waters. The Hawar Islands protected area provides valuable feeding and breeding grounds for a variety of migratory seabirds, it is an internationally recognized site for bird migration. The breeding colony of Socotra cormorant on Hawar Islands is the largest in the world, and the dugongs foraging around the archipelago form the second largest dugong aggregation after Australia. Bahrain has five designated protected areas, four of which are marine environments. They are Hawar Islands Mashtan Island, off the coast of Bahrain, Arad Bay, in Maharak. Tubli Bay Alarine Wildlife Park, which is a zoo and a breeding center for endangered animals, is the only protected area on land and also the only protected area which is managed on a day-to-day -day basis. Politics of Bahrain 
Bahrain under the Al Khalifa is a constitutional monarchy headed by the King, Sheikh Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa. King Hamid enjoys wide executive powers which include appointing the Prime Minister and his ministers, commanding the army, chairing the higher judicial council, appointing the parliament's upper house and dissolving its elected lower house. P15. The head of government is the unelected Prime Minister, Sheikh Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, the uncle of the current king who has served in this position since 1971, making him the longest-serving Prime Minister in the world. In 2010, about half of the government was composed of the Al Khalifa family. Bahrain has a bicameral National Assembly Al Jamia Al Watani, consisting of the Shira Council Majlis Al Shira with 40 seats and the Council of Representatives Majlis Al Nuwab with 40 seats. The 40 members of the Shira are appointed by the king. In the Council of Representatives, 40 members are elected by absolute majority vote in single-member constituencies to serve four-year terms. The appointed council exercises a de facto veto over the elected because draft acts must be approved so they may pass into law. After approval, the king may ratify and issue the act or return it within six months to the National Assembly where it may only pass into law if approved by two-thirds of both councils. P15 In 1973, the country held its first parliamentary elections, however, two years later, the late Emir dissolved the parliament and suspended the constitution after parliament rejected the state security law. The period between 2002 and 2010 saw three parliamentary elections. The first, held in 2002 was boycotted by the opposition, Al Wefaq, which won a majority in the second in 2006 and third in 2010. The 2011 by-election was held to replace 18 members of Al Wefaq who resigned in protest against government crackdown. The opening up of politics saw big gains for both Shia and Sunni Islamists in elections, which gave them a parliamentary platform to pursue their policies. It gave new prominence to clerics within the political system, with the most senior Shia religious leader, Sheikh Isa Qasim, playing a vital role. This was especially evident when in 2005 the government called off the Shia branch of the family law after over 100,000 Shia took to the streets. Islamists opposed the law because, neither elected MPs nor the government has the authority to change the law because these institutions could misinterpret the word of God. The law was supported by women activists who said they were, suffering in silence. They managed to organize a rally attended by 500 participants. Gada Jamshir, a leading woman activist said the government was using the law as a bargaining tool with opposition Islamic groups. Analysts of democratization in the Middle East cite the Islamists' references to respect human rights in their justification for these programs as evidence that these groups can serve as a progressive force in the region. Some Islamist parties have been particularly critical of the government's readiness to sign international treaties such as the United Nations International Convention on Civil and Political Rights. At a parliamentary session in June 2006 to discuss ratification of the convention, Sheikh Adel Moda, the former leader of Salafist party, Asala, explained the party's objections, the convention has been tailored by our enemies, God kill them all, to serve their needs and protect their interests rather than ours. This why we have eyes from the American embassy watching us during our sessions, to ensure things are swinging their way. Military of Bahrain The kingdom has a small but well-equipped military called the Bahrain Defense Force BDF, numbering around 13,000 personnel. The supreme commander of the Bahraini military is King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa and the deputy supreme commander is the Crown Prince, Salman bin Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa. The BDF is primarily equipped with United States equipment, such as the F-16 Fighting Falcon, F-5 Freedom Fighter, U-60 Black Hawk, M-60A3 tanks, and the ex-USS Jack Williams, an Oliver Hazard Perry class frigate renamed the RBNS Sabah. The government of Bahrain has close relations with the United States, has signed a cooperative agreement with the United States military and has provided the United States with a base in Jaffair since the early 1990s, although a U.S. naval presence existed since 1948. This is the home of the headquarters for Commander, United States Naval Forces Central Command COMUS and AVCENT, United States 5th Fleet COMFIFTHFLT, and around 6,000 United States military personnel. 
Bahrain participates in the Saudi Arabian-led intervention in Yemen against the Shia Houthis and forces loyal to former President Ali Abdullah Saleh, who was deposed in the 2011 Arab Spring Uprising. Many civilians have died and large parts of the infrastructure in this region were destroyed. The permanent British Royal Navy base at Mina Salman, HMS Jufair, was officially opened in April 2018. Economy of Bahrain According to a January 2006 report by the United Nations Economic and Social Commission for Western Asia, Bahrain has the fastest growing economy in the Arab world. Bahrain also has the freest economy in the Middle East and is 12th freest overall in the world based on the 2011 Index of Economic Freedom published by the Heritage Foundation, Wall Street Journal. In 2008, Bahrain was named the world's fastest growing financial center by the City of London's Global Financial Centers Index. Bahrain's banking and financial services sector, particularly Islamic banking, have benefited from the regional boom driven by demand for oil. Petroleum production and processing is Bahrain's most exported product, accounting for 60% of export receipts, 70% of government revenues, and 11% of GDP. Aluminium production is the second most exported product, followed by finance and construction materials. Economic conditions have fluctuated with the changing price of oil since 1985, for example during and following the Persian Gulf crisis of 1990-91. With its highly developed communication and transport facilities, Bahrain is home to a number of multinational firms and construction proceeds on several major industrial projects. A large share of exports consists of petroleum products made from imported crude oil, which accounted for 51% of the country's imports in 2007. Bahrain depends heavily on food imports to feed its growing population, it relies heavily on meat imports from Australia and also imports 75% of its total fruit consumption needs. Since only 2.9% of the country's land is arable, agriculture contributes to 0.5% of Bahrain's GDP. In 2004, Bahrain signed the Bahrain-US Free Trade Agreement, which will reduce certain trade barriers between the two nations. In 2011, due to the combination of the global financial crisis and the recent unrest, the GDP growth rate decreased to 1.3%, which was the lowest growth rate since 1994. Unemployment, especially among the young, and the depletion of both oil and underground water resources are major long-term economic problems. In 2008, the jobless figure was at 4%, with women overrepresented at 85% of the total. In 2007 Bahrain became the first Arab country to institute unemployment benefits as part of a series of labor reforms instigated under Minister of Labor, Dr. Majid Al-Alawi. Tourist Places in Bahrain As a tourist destination, Bahrain received over 8 million visitors in 2008, though the exact number varies yearly. Most of these are from the surrounding Arab states although an increasing number hail from outside the region due to growing awareness of the kingdom's heritage and its higher profile as a result of the Bahrain International F1 circuit. The kingdom combines modern Arab culture and the archaeological legacy of 5,000 years of civilization. The island is home to forts including Qalat al-Bahrain which has been listed by UNESCO as a World Heritage Site. The Bahrain National Museum has artifacts from the country's history dating back to the island's first human inhabitants some 9,000 years ago and the Beit al-Quran, meaning, the House of Quran, is a museum that holds Islamic artifacts of the Quran. Some of the popular historical tourist attractions in the kingdom are the al khamis Mosque, which is one of the oldest mosques in the region, the Arad Fort in Maharak, Barber Temple, which is an ancient temple from the Dilmanite period of Bahrain, as well as the Ali Burial Mounds and the Sar Temple. The Tree of Life, a 400-year-old tree that grows in the secure desert with no nearby water, is also a popular tourist attraction. Bird watching, primarily in the Hawar Islands, scuba diving, and horse riding are popular tourist activities in Bahrain. Many tourists from nearby Saudi Arabia and across the region visit Manama primarily for the shopping malls in the capital Manama, such as the Bahrain City Center and Seif Mall in the Seif district of Manama. The Manama Souk and Gold Souk in the Old District of Manama are also popular with tourists. 
In January 2019 the state-run Bahrain News Agency announced the summer 2019 opening of an underwater theme park covering about 100,000 square meters with a sunken Boeing 747 as the site's centerpiece. The project is a partnership between the Supreme Council for Environment, Bahrain Tourism and Exhibitions Authority BTEA, and private investors. Bahrain hopes scuba divers from around the world will visit the underwater park, which will also include artificial coral reefs, a copy of a Bahraini pearl merchant's house, and sculptures. The park is intended to become the world's largest eco-friendly underwater theme park. Since 2005, Bahrain hosts an annual festival in March, titled Spring of Culture, which features internationally renowned musicians and artists performing in concerts. Manama was named the Arab Capital of Culture for 2012 and Capital of Arab Tourism for 2013 by the Arab League and Asian Tourism for 2014 with the Gulf Capital of Tourism for 2016 by the Gulf Cooperation Council. The 2012 festival featured concerts starring Andrea Bocelli, Julio Iglesias and other musicians. Languages in Bahrain Arabic is the official language of Bahrain, though English is widely used. Barani Arabic is the most widely spoken dialect of the Arabic language, though it differs widely from Standard Arabic, like all Arabic dialects. Arabic plays an important role in political life, as, according to Article 57 C of Bahrain's constitution, an MP must be fluent in Arabic to stand for parliament. In addition, there are Bahrainis of Baloch origin, who are fluent in Arabic and Balochi. Among the Bahraini and non-Bahraini population, many people speak Persian, the official language of Iran, or Urdu, an official language in Pakistan and a regional language in India. Nepali is also widely spoken in the Nepalese workers and Gurkha soldiers community. Malayalam, Tamil, Bangla and Hindi are spoken among significant Indian communities. All commercial institutions and road signs are bilingual, displaying both English and Arabic. Culture in Bahrain Islam is the main religion, and Bahrainis are known for their tolerance towards the practice of other faiths. Intermarriages between Bahrainis and expatriates are not uncommon, there are many Filipino Bahrainis like Filipino child actress Mona Marbella Alalawi. Rules regarding female attire are generally relaxed compared to regional neighbors, the traditional attire of women usually include the hijab or the abaya. Although the traditional male attire is the thobe which also includes traditional headdresses such as the kefiya, gutra and agal, western clothing is common in the country. Although Bahrain legalized homosexuality in 1976, many homosexuals have since been arrested. Sports in Bahrain Bahrain is the first nation other than the United States of America to host International Mixed Martial Arts Federation World Championships of Amateur MMA. Bahrain has recorded an influx in global athletes visiting the nation for mixed martial arts training during 2017. In 2018, cricket was introduced in Bahrain under the initiative of KHK Sports and Exelon. Bahrain Premier League 2018 comprised six franchise squads of 13 resident cricketers competing in the T20 format. The teams were Shram M. Ram Falcons, Kalam Knight Riders, Intex Lions, Bahrain Super Giants, Four Square Challengers and Awin Warriors. Association football is the most popular sport in Bahrain. Bahrain's national football team has competed multiple times at the Asian Cup, Arab Nations Cup and played in the FIFA World Cup qualifiers, though it has never qualified for the World Cup. Bahrain has its own top-tier domestic professional football league, the Bahraini Premier League. Basketball, rugby and horse racing are also widely popular in the country. The government of Bahrain also sponsors a UCI World Team Cycling Team, Bahrain Merida, which participated in the 2017 Tour de France. Brave Combat Federation is a Bahrain-based mixed martial arts promotion which has hosted events in Bahrain, United Arab Emirates, Brazil, Kazakhstan, and India. Bahrain MMA Federation BMMAF, has been set up under the patronage of Sheikh Khalid bin Hamid Al Khalifa and the jurisdiction of the sports minister, Sheikh Nasser bin Hamid Al Khalifa. The development of MMA in the nation is convened through KHK MMA, which owns Brave Combat Federation which is the largest mixed martial arts promotion in the Middle East. Bahrain will be hosting Amateur World Championships 2017 in association with International Mixed Martial Arts Federation. 
Bahrain will be the first Asian and Arab country to host the amateur MMA championship. Bahrain has a Formula One race track, which hosted the inaugural Gulf Air Bahrain Grand Prix on 4 April 2004, the first in an Arab country. This was followed by the Bahrain Grand Prix in 2005. Bahrain hosted the opening Grand Prix of the 2006 season on 12 March of that year. Both the above races were won by Fernando Alonso of Renault. The race has since been hosted annually, except for 2011 when it was cancelled due to ongoing anti-government protests. The 2012 race occurred despite concerns of the safety of the teams and the ongoing protests in the country. The decision to hold the race despite ongoing protests and violence has been described as controversial by Al Jazeera English, CNN, AFP and Sky News. The Independent named it one of the most controversial in the history of the sport. In 2006, Bahrain also hosted its inaugural Australian V8 supercar event dubbed the Desert 400. The V8s returned every November to the secure circuit until 2010, in which it was the second event of the series. The series has not returned since. The Bahrain International Circuit also features a full-length dragstrip where the Bahrain Drag Racing Club has organized invitational events featuring some of Europe's top drag racing teams to try to raise the profile of the sport in the Middle East. Thanks for watching this video if you like this video, click on like button. If you want to watch more videos like this, click on the subscription button below, it's free subscription.